Liverpool, the best team in the world? I don't think you can argue with that, quite frankly. Um, they have been, certainly, in Europe um, for some time. Uh, and it was a matter of pitting them against the best that the rest of the world had to offer. They've done that, they've yeah. overcome that, uh, and they have the trophy and the title to prove it. Today's game, how would you, how would you sum it up? Uh, I would sum it up in, in general terms. Liverpool were the better side, they had the better chances. They, they should have won in the 90 minutes. Um, I'm glad that they won in the end in, in extra time because had something gone wrong in extra time and, and Flamengo had won, then I think there would have been serious, serious questions and doubts about who appointed these officials for this game. You know, not just, and I'm not just talking about the incident at the end with, with Manny when, when it wasn't a penalty, as you said. Yeah. It should have been a free kick. It ended up being a drop ball. I mean, just ridiculous. And that just tells you that the referee who's in charge of the game has lost his way. Right. You know, he's, he's completely forgotten what happened in the situation. He's panicked. His, his VAR assistant hasn't helped him sure. uh, because I don't believe he showed him the right angle to show the free kick that it should have been. So every which way you look at it, the referee was, he was out of his depth. And you saw it as well during the game because yep. a, lot of, a lot of frustrations from players when decisions were given against them on both sides, not just Liverpool, but certainly for, for Fl Flamengo as well. So it's the right result, but fortunately, Fortunately, I think the officiating might sort of disappear into the distance, but... Because they won. But it's crazy. How can you have, or how can you try and make this game the biggest club game in the world, and then appoint rookie officials? Officials that have never been in charge of a big game. In fact, the referee, the biggest thing in his career so far, has been the fourth official at the last World Cup. Right. But then you put them in charge of what you're trying to turn into the biggest club game in the world. I mean, come on, seriously. How is that possible? Liverpool never won this before. No. This team better than your lot, then. If you say so. <laughs> you do not agree? I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I wouldn't say that. Listen, <laughs> it's impossible to say that. I was involved in one that we lost. Right. But the one that we lost, was well, certainly the one I was involved in, and the one before that, were considered a break for us. Okay, so this it wasn't taken, taken seriously. seriously. Yeah, this team took this seriously. This format worked though, didn't it? Like the Monterey game was good, the Flamengo game was good. They were they were good matches. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I think the games were good. Yeah, but it's just unfortunately the playing it, the playing it at the wrong time of the year. It's right. a busy, certainly for Liverpool. Yeah. No question, it's it's the busiest time, so it it doesn't. It doesn't suit the Europeans, I don't think. Overall, obviously, we've heard Klopp complaining, complaining about fixtures, but he, he does that every year. That's kind of the norm. Mm -hmm. They've got four days now to recover until the Leicester game, but they've got money to play with because of their points lead at, at the top of the table. Mm -hmm. Now they've got a break as well in February. You kind of feel that this isn't going to, this isn't going to take such a strain on them that we were maybe sold that it was going to. Well, I think Klopp did a good job of selling the fact he's thrown out the stats and the games and. The, the no recovery time. Yes. Listen, I can assure you, you play on a Saturday and then you don't play again to the Thursday, that is more than enough time to recover. And it kind of almost seems like, what was the big worry here? Sure. What, what was the big problem? Yeah, well, the Carabao Cup, I suppose, was the issue, wasn't it? Because of the 24 hours after. But then, you know what? They've, they've gotten through it. The results in the Premier League have gone for them. Leicester yes. City yeah. getting beat by Manchester City yeah. is a great result for Liverpool. So, listen, things so far could not have gone any better for Liverpool. When it comes to Liverpool Football Club, it is an impressive trophy cabinet that they boast. 18 First Division titles. Steve, you're involved in five of those, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I was. Uh, and now they can add the FIFA Club World Cup to that list of honours. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.